Hey, well, it is fall. It's October, which means what? Well, it's PSL season. It's time for Halloween and it's new iPhone season. <laughs> Apple releasing their new iPhones just in time for the holidays, as they always do. And take a look. I have all the new iPhones right here for you this morning. All four of the brand new models. I've had a chance to test them out and review them. First, I want to talk about design. Now, this isn't a huge departure from the iPhone 15. In fact, in many ways, it is very similar. Some new colors. The 16s cameras are now on top top of each other instead of diagonal. And while the Pro model still has three cameras, all the cameras are similar in terms of megapixels to the iPhone 15. But Apple says they upgraded the technology to take in more light and take better pictures, especially in low light. The cameras are definitely one of the biggest upgrades here between the Pro models. On the Pro, you get better cameras for better macro photos, a better zoom, better video. The Pro models just have better cameras. Something else you'll notice is the customizable action button was only on the Pro models last year. Now all the new iPhones get that little customizable button. Speaking of buttons, a lot of talk about this, the new camera button, which is pretty cool. You Press it to jump right into the camera, then you light slide your finger on it to adjust settings. It's default to zooming in and zooming out, which is very cool. And then when you're ready to take a photo, you just press it in all the way, hard press it, and it takes a picture. It, you know, designed to make the iPhone feel more like an actual camera. Apple intelligence was a big part of the new launch, but it's not ready yet. So you won't have those AI features on your new iPhone yet. Apple says that software update with Apple intelligence is expected to come out sometime this month. So the iPhone 16 starts at $799 for the smaller screen base model, all the way up to the big daddy, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. That one Ooh. starts at $1,200. That's the one on the end here. You know, it's hard, should you upgrade or not? Yeah. You know, because I do think this is a great iPhone model. It feels great. They all feel very fast, especially the Pro mm -hmm. models. But if you already have a 15, especially a 15 Pro, you're gonna get the AI features yeah. with the 15 Pro when they do the software update. I'm not sure a 15 Pro owner needs to update, but if you're a pre-15, it might be time to consider one of these because they get are one of the new awesome ones. phones. Yeah, that's why I have the 15 Pro and it, they're pretty similar besides that button. Yeah. But and look at this. Look at the colors. Some of the new colors, this is like a new pink. I don't know what they actually call it. And this is like a new blue. They've yeah. got some really, really bright new colors on the, uh, not the Pro models, but the, uh, the other models, the 16 models. So check them out, guys. Again, I think if you're pre-iPhone 15, check them out. If you're on an iPhone 15 or above, you're probably good. Yeah, just uh, give me that pink one right there. I'll, <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. Sorry, Apple. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.